Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add head torches to zombies. So you get this rather cool effect of not only basically, you know, the zombie with a head torch on. I think what's really cool about this is that you could be approaching an area or the players on your servers could be approaching an area and, uh, you know, they're a bit nervous and all of a sudden they see this sort of thing, you know, uh, especially the zombie with the, uh, uh, the head torch that has the red light on. And they think, oh, is that a real player up there? And the fact that the zombie's wearing a head torch is uh, it's pretty pretty scary in and of itself as well. So, uh, yeah, very, very cool. And, of course, when you kill the zombie, you can loot the uh, the head torch off them, um, which is uh, which is very, very good as well. Now, look, the red one looks so cool, doesn't it? Anyway, so how do you do this? So, so, so. What we're going to be need needing and what you're going to have to download or you're going to be editing it live on your uh, web interface on your server, and this works for console and PC, by the way, is we're going to be editing the CFG spawnable types and the CFG random presets. Um, now, if you need to know where they are, go to your server, um, go to the uh, file browser, go into your mission, and in here you will find uh, CFG spawnable types uh, there it is and you can download that make a copy and then open it up in your favorite text editor and cfg random presets and again download that make a copy open it up into your um, favorite text editor always prefer for people to do that because if we make a mistake or we make a mistake you're not quite sure what you've done and you can't undo it then you can just refer you can revert back to the vanilla one and start again so CFG spawnable types. Let's look at this. Now this file, what it does, it tells your server that when something spawns in, what other things it should spawn in with. So, for example, uh, say uh, say with a gun, right? Say like with an M16, the um, types that XML that tells your server how many M16s to spawn in. Um, but the CFG spawnable type says, I tell you what, when an M16 spawns in spawn it in with a magazine or maybe it's an m4 it'll say well how about spawning it in with a site or maybe a suppressor or maybe this type of stock so when we want to edit what things spawn in with a good file to use is the cfg spawnable types and if you scroll down or or just do a search for army what you'll find is the zombie section like this and you can see each different type of zombie has um, some some code underneath it within its kind of types brackets um, and if you look you'll see you have cargo presets and attachments presets so the zombies um, have the ability to carry a very small amount of loot um, in their pockets is you know actually not in the equipment they're wearing uh, that we have access to but just just in their kind of internal cargo um, and you know that's why you'll find like uh, some food on them or a battery or some bandage or something like that unfortunately at the moment at the time of recording this video daisy 1.21 um you can't put weapons because they're too big so they can't carry them and you can't put them on their shoulders like you used to but you can put a little bit inside them and that's what this first bit is um, where it says cargo preset food army and cargo preset ammo army i'll show you what that means in a second as well then underneath you have attachments so we have attachments glasses attachments hats bags and vests and so this is saying look on the zombie place something like uh, from from a list of these so glasses hats bags and vests and if you go down and look at the different types of zombies not just the army ones but other ones you'll see that they have different um, things that they can attach them so the, the the caveat to this your limit is that you can't attach anything to a zombie you you can't put fresh trousers on a zombie for example but you can put a bag on a zombie you can put a hat on a zombie you can put a vest on a zombie and you can put something on his eyes as a zombie um, and those things will will attach so instead of saying in the cfg spawnable types exactly what attachments the game should use it uses a preset and to see what those presets are you need to go into cfg random presets so if we start say with cargo preset food army we could have a look for that we could copy that if we go into cfg random presets and just do a control f search control v to find food army there we go it's there so this is the list of things that food army means 
So at the top you have the chance, so 0.1 means 10%. If it was the chance was 1.0, it would mean this should happen 100% of the time. So there's a very small chance that you'll get some food, and if you do get some food, these are the chances of the stuff you will get. So you've got a 5% chance of getting cola, uh, a 5% chance of Pipsy, Spite, maybe some tuna can, maybe some spaghetti, maybe even uh, you've got a 10% chance of getting a canteen or a tactical bacon can off Food Army. So that's that one. So that's the kind of way it works. If you wanted to change what zombies would carry, you could uh, change that. Just bear in mind, of course, that zombies have a very small cargo. You can't put an axe in there. Um, you probably couldn't put like a chicken in there, it probably be too big as well. So that's that. But what we're interested in is uh, adding um, adding head torch, isn't it? Now that comes under the attachments. So the attachments are the things that are stuck to the outside of the zombie. And head torches now, uh, currently, uh, take up the glasses slot, which is really cool now because they used to take up the helmet slot, which is a bit of a pain. So now it takes up the glasses slot. So what we can do, if we know the preset uh, for the glasses, we can change it or add to it. So we know that almost all the zombies for the army have a glasses preset. So if we just copy uh, glasses army like that and copy, go into CFG random presets, do a control F to find, do a control V glasses army, find all in current document, and then double click down here. Let's shut this down. We can see this is uh, what glasses army is so you've got attachments now I've changed this your attachment chance is probably 0.01 so there's a 10% chance in vanilla that an uh, army zombie will spawn in with one of these items and what you should see on yours is I think it will just say tactical goggles and aviator glasses and I'm not sure if they're 0.25 so if a zombie in vanilla daisy spawns in with um, some glasses on there's a small chance there'll be tactical goggles and a small chance there'll be aviator glasses but what we can do is if you copy uh, tactical goggles and aviator gl glasses and uh, so if you did something like this and then paste that underneath and then we need the names for head torch black and head torch gray so if you just go into your types do a control uh, f to search and search for head t there you've got head torch black and head torch grey. So simply copy head torch black and then copy head torch grey and just paste them over the, your, your new tactical goggles and aviator goggles. So you end up with what I've got here. So head torch black and head torch grey. One of them has the white um, lens on it. One of them has the red filter on it. I'm not sure which, but, but it does it that way. And what I've done here is I've, for the purposes of this video, I've so that you could see the head torches in action when we first started the video, I increased the attachment chance to 1.0, so all zombies would spawn in with some sort of glasses on, and then I just did it as a 25% chance for either tactical goggles, aviator glasses, the head torch black, or the head torch grey. I would say when it comes to your server, um, with things like this, that less is more. You know, you don't really want every single zombie spawning in with a head torch on. Um, you don't want every single um, zombie spawning in with, with loads of loot in their pockets. You know, this is Daisy, it's zombie survival. And the effect of seeing a zombie with a head torch is will wear off if you see it a lot. You know, you want it to be someone's running along there, they're coming up to an area, and they're in the distance, they're coming up to, say, a village. Maybe even they're looking at the village through their binoculars and they're scoping it out oh is anybody down there and then they see you know a flashlight moving around like one flashlight and they're like oh that could be a player because it's for me it's, it's about fooling the players on your server that oh that's a player down there and it gives them that you know that that heart pumping moment of adrenaline that they're going to be coming up against a player whereas if every single zombie's got a head torch on pretty soon they'll know okay if it's a head torch it's a zombie, you know, an infected zombie. I don't need to, don't need to worry about that. Now, once you've done that and you've uh, put in the percentages that you like, you want to save that. You want to go to your favourite XML valid online validator, um, upload the video, uh, upload the video, upload the file uh, back to your server. So using the upload button and then restart your server, and then these sorts of zombies will start spawning in pretty, pretty quickly. Now, the thing to remember is that. 
different zombies have different presets. So in this example, we've edited the army ones. But you may well want to go down and look at, say, um, so uh, you've got Glasses City. So City Zombies uses the Glasses City preset. So if we copy that and go into CFG Random Presets, do a search, uh, find all. There we go. So you can see Glasses City. Now, that you'll come across this. Um, Glasses City was chance 0.2, remove cause of attachment slot is missing. So pre 1.21, um, you couldn't put eyewear on infected. It You used to be able to do quite a few updates ago, then they took it away. So when you see these bits here, these remarks, just ignore them because uh, att glasses attachments do work now. So what you would do is you would change one of these item names from sports glasses orange to you know, you guessed it, head torch black and head torch grey, and then that would give uh, your zombies in cities a chance of spawning in with a head torch on. And again, I'd say, you know, less is more. Um, and maybe the industrial zombies are probably some of the what good ones. So uh, do the industrial zombies wear glasses? Maybe not. Okay, so maybe not them, but just the city ones. So there we go. Hopefully that's been uh, useful. Oh, it's raining on the, on the server now. Hopefully you can add this nice little um, sort of uh, little server mod to your servers, so, so that you can uh, have zombies walking around with head torches on. Let's um, have another look as well. And I've got to thank. Um, I'm pretty sure Don Sibley did a video about this um, a couple of years. <laughs> There's a <laughs> now I'm going to do a video about this one. So this fella here, not only is he a zombie with a head torch on he's in a ghillie suit as well which is uh, which is pretty cool so i'll be doing another video about that but yeah don did even a video about this ages ago um and um i thought right well, I've, I've never really had a go of it so i kind of, kind of try to figure it out myself but there we go put it on your server um not on too many zombies and you will give your players i think uh, a couple of cool scares when they're wandering around and they see a torch moving around in the dark and think oh my god there's another player um, I'd better be careful. All right, that's enough from me. Hope you found the video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.